all right guys welcome back to another video so today i want to share this progress with you um make sure to stick around because you're gonna see how i go from carrying 220 yards to 237 almost 240 yards just by doing um just a few simple things that i never did before and that just um, allowed me to increase from about 10 to 15 yards more so Right now, I was just working on my grip. I was gripping it too high before. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing two things. I'm gripping down on the club and I'm teeing up the ball a little higher. So initially, I thought that I was going to get more distance right away. But uh, the distance was about the same, you know, my 225, 226 carry. Um, the one thing that I noticed by gripping down on the ball, on the club, sorry, it's the the spin numbers were really really low the consistency was just great some of the shots uh, felt like I like I was supposed to be way to the right with my standard swing but they weren't and it was just slightly to the right so I can confirm to you that gripping it down you you're gonna be more consistent in, as far as your your shots going to the right and left now I want you to check to look at the uh, ball speed on average is one 39 sometimes I can get it to 140 ball speed average is about 139 so okay now I'm in the course right here I'm gripping it down as you can see and I'm kind of uh, playing around with uh, my 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 uh, the way I'm hitting the ball right now I didn't I didn't do it yet but I was kind of getting that feeling of hitting up on the ball and the reason I got that idea is because uh, I was teeing the ball a little higher. You know, I was just experimenting basically. So this, I'm putting all the shots, so I'm not, you know, just picking the best shots. This is exactly shot after shot. Uh, initially, I was doing my normal fades, as you can see here. But then um, I got more comfortable with gripping the, the, the club a little down. So then as I was doing this, um, this is with something inside just clicking I mean I was just like what am I doing I'm just uh, I tried to hit it a little up on the ball I this was my first shot where I hit up on the ball so it was 234 carry so that was like okay I ne I've never done that before so then um, I started to get more and more comfortable with hitting up on the ball it felt a little different um, I thought like I said I thought I was doing that but apparently not enough and look at these shots these shots were really really good i mean i got the most carry distance than ever before um, and simply all i'm doing is i'm gripping down on the club and i'm trying to hit up on the ball obviously i'm teeing up the ball a little higher as well so the more comfortable i get the better swing speed so by teeing up higher and by hitting up on it uh, i thought i was going to balloon the ball but no it was just getting more distance I mean, I was just amazed of how far the ball was going. I'm not going to show you each shot, but then I can uh, show you the table. And this is shot after shot. Look at the ball speed. It went to up to 145 miles per hour. That's, I've never done that before. My average is 139. Okay, so now I went back to the range setting because I was like, okay, you know, I know I, was, I wasn't hitting, I, was, I wasn't carrying 134. Um, so I started to try to get the same feeling and look at this the ball speed was already 142 so that means I was doing something different and it was going it was going this was 227 carry I was just still getting the feeling there but as I got more comfortable I was getting better and better and better and again I'm not uh, I'm not editing any shots this is shot after shot I'm not um, I'm not trying to tell you something that is not true. So as you can see there, not all the shots were great, but um, you can see the, like for instance, this wasn't great, but because I hit up on it, I got more distance than usual. This was my normal like 220 carry. So basically I went from hitting 225 carry to 235 carry, an extra 10 yards or probably more uh, I even passed the 250. What it's doing is basically lowering the spin by, by gripping it down. And then by uh, hitting up on the ball, uh, it's increasing my swing speed. And as you can see, look at my ball speed, 142. This is, 
I've never done that before so and this allows me to get to close to 240 carry anyways now the ultimate test will be to go back into the app to the Vivo Plus FS app because this is where I was I can tell you that my max was 227 um, the, the previous days I never passed 227 so I went back my very very first shot was 228 I know this one was slightly to the left but look at the swing speed and look at the ball speed as well so I'm getting more and more comfortable and I don't know if you can see through the video but you can see that my swing is looking much much different than before because I'm hitting up on the ball and teeing it up high it's just, it just gives me a lot more swing speed as you can see here this is 234. I know it's a little bit to the left, but I've never done that before. I mean, this is ball speed of 144. And as you know, the Mibu Plus, that's that's the the actual ball speed. It's very, very uh, comparable to TrackMan. So, and this one right here was, yes, it's a pull, but it's 234 carry. So, so let's look at this numbers. Uh, 229 carry on average. Uh, swing speed, 98.8. All I'm doing, I'm just teeing it up higher and trying to hit the ball going up instead of uh, hitting it like an iron. So maybe that's what I was doing. Even if the club path is left, it didn't matter. So it wasn't the club path. It was just me hitting up on the ball and teeing it up a little higher, as well as gripping it down, of course. So a few variables, but look at the results right here. 229 carry from an average of 220. So that's an extra 10 yards. Okay, so now I'm going back to the normal course that I play on the A6 and the best shot I ever got with roll and everything is 250. I never passed the 250 with roll and I think I did like 235 and then I roll the next 15 uh, to 20 yards. Look at the, my very, very first shot. It was already 265. But the best part about it is that it will carry already 258 and 99.3 swing speed. So. Look at look at this, and I'm you know I'm, it just changes the way I play the the course now because I'm always driving the the green on my second shot. Not quite yet, but this allows me to play just better. All right, guys. So I'm really amazed, man. I, I I'm not trying to BS you guys, you know, but uh, I you seen in my previous videos. That's what I carry 220, 222. I went from that to 235. That's an extra 10 yards. Uh, obviously you're gonna get roll so I can easily get to 250 now and my swing speed increased to about like 99 to 100 miles an hour so I can there's still room to improve but the main thing it wasn't my driver it wasn't my left to right club path uh, it was just that I got the feeling of hitting up on the ball more I was doing it but I wasn't doing it enough apparently so uh, by teeing it up higher by gripping it just a little slight lower not too much obviously but where i was gripping it before you can see on my glove too that it wasn't it was I, I was basically gripping it right at the end where it actually hurt that's why i got this mark right here so i don't know why i didn't do it before i guess maybe like a, a good lesson from a coach uh, could have changed this but uh you know this is the only disadvantage of of just you know doing it yourself but guys if you're struggling with your driver if you have the swing speed Make sure to do that, what, what I don't, uh, I'm sure you will do the same. I mean, just tee it up a little bit higher, uh, hit it up. You have to hit it up all the way up and the face is almost feeling like it's closed. So just releasing it, that's going to get you good distance. So I'm gaining more and more confidence that I feel like I, I could probably hit better. And we're talking about the same driver now. This I didn't change it. I have the M1. So I got to a maximum of 240 carry. I mean, that's, I didn't think it was going to happen. And it did. Hopefully, it's not one of those just one day things, but um, I'll keep you updated on my progress, guys. Um, I would like to thank some of you guys because you guys gave me a lot of good tips on my last video. So, definitely uh, thank you for that. And it's working, it's definitely working. I can't wait to get to the course and apply all this. Obviously, I don't this on the simulator, which is not the same, but uh, for me, it does reflect what I do in the, at the course. So, I will keep you updated, guys, on my progress, and I'll let you know how it goes at the course. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.